do, foodies? Welcome back to Kay's Kitchen. Of course, you know I'm excited. I'm in my favorite place in the house, the kitchen. Today's lineup is going to be an, uh, a remake of Bobby Flay's Louisiana Burger. So on this burger, it's going to be a spice rub that goes on it as well as a homemade romulade sauce that would go on there after the burger is cooked. And so I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys. Um, and the wine of my choice today that pairs very well with burgers, it's gonna be a red blend made by Coppola, all right? So this is the wine of choice that's gonna go with my burgers today, right? So. You know, I have to start out with pouring myself a glass, baby. Yes. Yes. It's a real pork curd. Now, let's see what it's given. It smells really good. Let's see. Okay. It's dry, of course. Mmm, but I could just taste the notes in it that when this burger comes off the grill, it's going to pair so well. Let's get into it, babies. Welcome to Kay's Kitchen. make the spice rub. Uh, I have a, a, a clean bowl here. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to this bowl. One teaspoon of black pepper. A half a teaspoon garlic and onion powder. And then I'm just gonna add like a little sprinkle. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of smoked paprika to this as well. All right. All right, I'm gonna whisk all this goodness together, guys. And all these seasonings and spices is to taste. So if one teaspoon is too much for you, Bring it down to what's most comfortable for you or what you like, all right? So that's all mixed up. It's all mixed up right there. Okay, guys, so we're finished with the dry rub. I'm going to get ready to start on my Ramalad sauce. I had forgot to let you know to put some dry thyme in your, uh, in your dry rub as well. I, it was just like a, a sprinkle of thyme that I put in here, right? And so to start our wet sauce, I'm going to be using about a cup, a half a cup of mayonnaise. That's gonna be our base. Half a cup of the mayonnaise, right? Packing that in, getting that in there, right? About a half a cup right there. Good to go. And also to that, I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of, oh, let me shake that up. So. A quarter cup of your regular uh, yellow mustard, as well as a quarter cup of your Dijon mustard. Okay, so that's about a quarter right there, and a quarter of Dijon there. Get all that out of there. Mix that really well. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is gonna be your cornichones, right? I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup in here to start out with, right? And see what that looks like. And also to that, this is about a tablespoon of green scallion as well as parsley, okay? Go ahead and mix all that together. And I'm gonna give it a, a, a little taste, right? Because you see I haven't added any salt, any black pepper to this. So this is gonna be my time to add any salt or black pepper to it, right? Then I'll just uh, package them up, like put some um, saran wrap over them, put them in the refrigerator until I'm done making my burgers, all right? So I'm to pinch the salt here. I'm tasting. Mm. Put a little bit more salt in there. Black pepper to that. And that's all she wrote, baby. That's it. That's all, baby. Mix her around like this. Put her in the refrigerator. Alright, guys. That's it for now. Alright, guys. So I'm outside now getting ready to get these beautiful burgers on the grill. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little indention in the middle of the burger. That way when it's cooking, you know, it can cook all the way through evenly. Alright, and it's also for that, you know, the burger don't try to do that little ugly shape. Puffing up in the middle part. Alright? Alright, so I'm gonna take some regular vegetable oil. One side of the burger for right now. Right? Then after that, I'm gonna add the spices. And then that spice side is gonna go down first on the burger. And then once I flip the burger, then I'll repeat this process here to the next side. Alright? Let's get into it. Side, what I did to the other side, add just a little oil, a little oil to it. Then I'll add the spice rub to this side. Thank you. 
this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some bacon. Some of them won't get any bacon because some people like their burger just plain. So, add some bacon to these. Like that. And we put the cheese right over it. Pepper Jack cheese right on top. All right, welcome back, booties. So I got this burger put together. Um, I made the dry rubs as you saw, the ramalad sauce as you saw. Brought my burgers out there. Um, put some of the uh, vegetable oil on the burger first, then sprinkled your dry rub on there. Put that side on the grill first. Let that go for about four to five minutes. Uh, and right before you flip it to the next side, do the same thing with your oil and then your dry rub and then you flip it. And then right at the last minute, um, before I take it off the grill, I added some bacon to it, as well as some pepper jack cheese. You're, you can use whatever cheese you like, whatever bacon you like, all right? So now watch me put this together. I also grilled my buns on the grill as well, all right? So this is how I'm gonna layer this. I'm going to get my buns like that, right? This is my bottom one. I'm gonna start out by putting some of this beautiful ramalad sauce right on it, like just one spoon of it. Then to that, I'm going to add one of this beautiful burger here. Next to that, I'm going to add on this bun here, I'm going to add some more ramalad sauce to that. And right before I close up this beauty, I am going to add some chips on it. So whatever your favorite chip is, uh, added to it. So I have some um, applewood smoked cheddar as well as some barbecue. Uh, I may just, I probably do both of them, right? Add them like that. Add them like that, right? Flip that sandwich over like that. Break those chips like that. All right, now guys, I'm gonna make another one, but I'm gonna show you. You can add whatever you want to this. Let it be your own. So I'm gonna add some more ramalad sauce to this. And let's say it's one of my peoples that just want a plain burger without the, the bacon on it and the cheese. Let's do it just like that, right? Add some more ramalad sauce to the top of this. But this time, let's add us some romaine lettuce to this, as well as big fat tomato. Flip her over like that. Probably should have put the lettuce to the bottom, but hey, don't kill me for it. Welcome back, foodies. Thanks again for tuning in and watching Kay's Kitchen. Do like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment, guys. 
let me know what video would you like for me to make next all right so once again just a, a quick retake this is a remake of the bobby flay's louisiana burger all right so on this burger here to my left you know this is where i put the potato chips and the bacon and the cheese and this is my plain burger right so i'm gonna go ahead and dig into this one i am so excited all right oh you know what let me say my grace most holy heavenly father god thank you for providing for us lord god father god bless these hands father god and continuously uh bless me lord god to create more of these beautiful healthy meals in jesus christ's name amen so let's get into it, honey. Mm, look at that. Perfectly cooked burger. Four minutes on each side is how I did it, right? Beautiful, beautiful. You see it's cooked all the way through. It is so juicy. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did that. I did that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, so good. So juicy. So flavorful. That's what this burger is giving. Mm -mm -mm. Don't cook your burger too long. It's going to dry out. This right here, delish. Mmm. 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 I can taste. Mmm. A bit of tanginess from the corations. I know I probably uh, messed that word up. But, um, it's a little tanginess going on, as well as some bold flavors going on in there. Mmm. The Dijon mustard is coming through. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So juicy, guys. So flavorful. And use whatever cheese you like. Pepper Jack, smoked Gouda. You can do some Swiss cheese, some provolone cheese. Whatever you taste, you can even up this a little bit more if you want. And let's see, add some barbecue sauce to it or add some sugar to your spice rub um, that you're making. Um, add some more smoke paprika to it. If you want like a smoky, you can do some liquid smoke in your sauce. Like just, just make it your own. Do it as you please to it. But definitely I would say pay attention to your cook time because you do not want your burgers overcooked. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Hands down, this is going to be a staple in the house. Hands down. Mm. So, guys, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by, spending this time with your girl, Kay. And tune in for the next one next week. See y'all then. <gasps> yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.